So let's start to double click on a few things here on these governance aspects and see how DBT and Atlin work together to make governance more accessible. So as mentioned earlier, all of the transformation steps that you do in DBT are automatically documented and hosted for you. So there is no setup actually needed. All of it's fully automated. Data engineers, as well as end users can leverage the documentation to have more intelligent conversations to enable faster pipeline development. So think about your BI developers that are out there. They just need a few columns of data for that additional analysis. Now they have access to this documentation at their fingertips. They can relay that information fast to those data engineers or actually contribute to that pipeline themselves. But DBT's integration with Atlin allows for all of that metadata and the tags that your data engineers apply in DBT, that can actually be directly visible as well in Atlin's UI, which you'll see here in a bit in the demo. DBT also has automated continuous integration capabilities. And so what does that mean? It means that DBT is actually aware of the changes that you make in development and it only builds or materializes those transformation steps that are in scope, which then can be used to validate the data and make sure it's accurate prior to actually merging that code into a production or a main or master branch. So there is no need to actually run your entire pipeline when someone makes a simple change, especially when you're going through that QA process, which saves you ultimately time and money. We also have robust job scheduling and alerting capabilities. Taking this one step further, because Atlin integrates all of your data assets, including your ingestion tools, BI dashboard, spreadsheets, data science application, an organization can have full visibility into that entire data ecosystem, not just what's in your cloud data warehouse, that DBT fitting on top of it, and show how each of those changes in the pipeline actually impacts those downstream processes. Important to call out the ability as well in Atlin to track column level lineage. So if someone is making a change in a specific column in the data warehouse, there is that instant visibility into the assets and the users that are actually impacted by a change. Quickly transitioning here into the DBT semantic layer, you will also hear this call called the metrics layer. And what does this mean from a data governance perspective? So the metrics layer is a place to build centralized logic for all of your critical metrics. So no matter what downstream tools being used, whether that's a commercial BI tool, even Excel, data science use cases, your end users are able to query and slice and dice that data in a very consistent manner. So an example, let's say you wanna look at something like monthly recurring revenue, and based on the downstream tool being used, you might have users arrive at all sorts of different answers depending on the filters that have been applied or the data that's being used. But the goal of the semantic layer is to improve that consistency in the trust, precision of your metrics. And of course, these metrics are tightly integrated with Atlin, so you get that full end-to-end -end visibility, which you can see here on the screen.